Hey YouTube, it is Carrie, your Monday girl, and I am filling in for Kristen, your Wednesday girl. Um, she will start her vlogs next week. Uh, she lives uh, not in the U.S., and so getting the time uh, down pat and everything, uh, she's just going to start next week, so you'll get her introduction video as well as the first topic. So, we have not chosen our first topic yet for the first video, so if you have any ideas that you would like, please put them in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed so far. Um, we are so pleased that we are, our videos are already getting views uh, and comments and such. Uh, it's just exciting to be a part of it. You know, um, we all, uh, as a whole, all of us women have watched um, a plethora of YouTube videos, um, partner videos, but we've also watched um, transition videos for guys. Um, I know that when Quinn first um, came out as trans, I trans-googled um, absolutely everything that I possibly could, and I think that that helped me in uh, allowing, um, allowing myself to be okay with his transition, and also uh, it allowed me to provide him with some support and knowledge uh, for what he was going through. Um, obviously, uh, I'm cisgendered and um, relate to my body, um, and I could not imagine wanting to change it other than maybe, you know, not being so large and in charge, although I do like being a big girl. Um, you know, all of my parts I'm really alright with. So, uh, just kind of learning the process of, of what goes on in a trans guy's head uh, is certainly very helpful. And then just the stories of, you know, how people handle it, because we all handle things so differently. Um, it could be an exact same situation, and, you know, you can have four people in the exact same situation and literally have, you know, uh, five different... Uh, versions of, of the situation, you know, um, because it, it, it does hit everyone extremely differently. Um, and, and I think that if I had not watched some of the videos that I watched, I would not have been okay with, uh, Quinn being on testosterone. Um, I don't know if I had mentioned this in, in my intro video or not, but I watched, um, Emery, which is MQism, uh, his one year uh, transition video and there was a point where I've, I've spoken to him on YouTube about it uh, just via you know uh, typing back and forth but uh, there was one point in his video that he just said that uh, if it if he didn't start taking testosterone um, then it you know it, it would have killed him basically and I just had that moment of the, wow, this is so incredibly real and so incredibly uh, tough, you know, I couldn't imagine, you know, not, um, just not being okay with uh, pronouns and, and names and the inside not matching the outside, you know, I, I'm a big girl and have been a big girl for most of my life and so uh, you know, but I can change that very easily if I want, um, and do from time to time. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of, uh, of losing, you know, like 50 to 100 pounds and then gaining it back. I'm not sure why. I play lost and found with my weight all the time. I lose it and then I find it and then I find some more that somebody else lost and then I have to lose that again. But, you know, I mean, I could do that pretty pretty simply with just altering uh, myself and, and my day and stuff, but to actually be in a situation where you have to alter um, through medication and surgery and, and all of those things that, and, and nobody understanding it around you, you know, um, I'm a fat southern woman who was raised by a fat southern woman, uh, so my mom got it, my sister got it, she's also big. Um, you know, you grow up in a family and, and most family members are, are alike, you know, 
Um, and the closest thing that I could relate to is being gay. Um, thus far, I'm the only gay person to come out in my family. Although, mm, I know there's a few. Uh, but they refuse to come out. So, um, you know, my family is different in that, in that way, you know. Um, but when you're racially separated from society, your family is also in that same racial separation or, or, or whatever, uh, or I shouldn't say separation, that, that's bad. I, I mean, um, you know, just, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I just couldn't imagine that it would be easy walking through that life. So YouTube has helped a lot uh, kind of wrap my head around it and, um, you know, just really be okay with things. So anyway, I am like at six minutes now and this is not even my video. I just went off on some tangent and I kind of have a good camera angle, bad hair, good camera angle, but it's like I don't know, 1.52 in the morning, and I have to be up and working at, like, 7.30. So, um, I'm going to sign off and go to bed. You could see Quinn's, some of Quinn's guitars behind me. My husband's a musician, and it's killing him right now that he can't play the guitar or the violin because uh, he's healing from top surgery. Uh, anyway, that's that. So, uh, Kristen will see you next Wednesday. Uh, I will see you next Monday. Subscribe down below or up top or wherever. Leave your comments, inbox us. Um, tell us what you think about the channel. I know that we were only two, uh, two ladies in, three days in. Um, but we're super excited and, um, and we hope you are too. So talk to you later. Oh, I have a cat coming over to visit me. Bye.